everyone, we're back again for another topic. Are you ready for another learning session? Now let's get started. Hello everyone, I hope everyone's doing great. Before moving on to our lesson, let us have first a quick review. Identify the following propaganda techniques used in the sentence. Number 1. It urges you to do something because everyone else is. Number 2. It uses a testimony of a famous person to get you to do something. Number 3. It uses positive images so that it will transfer your positive feeling towards one thing or another. Number 4. It uses a derogatory term to criticize a person or a product. And number 5. It uses words that appeal to the emotion rather than common sense. Now let's check your answer. Alright! Number 1. The answer is bandwagon. Number 2. Testimonial. Number 3. Transfer. Number 4. Name calling. And number 5. Loaded words. Very good! You've got it all correctly. Examine biases made by the author. At the end of our lesson, students are expected to define bias, identify biases made by the author, and look for biases in a statement. Now take a closer look. Compare biases in the two paragraphs from different articles. Now moving on, let's define what is bias. Bias is a prejudice or in favor of or against one thing, person, or group compared with another, Usually in a way considered to be unfair. Favoritism for something an author is writing about. Bias is a subjective way of thinking that tells only one side of the story that sometimes it leads to inaccurate information or wrong impression. Example Let's say you like Coke over Pepsi. You were somewhere and wanted to drink soda, then they only had Pepsi. And you decided to drink water, instead, you should be showing your bias towards Coke. Here are some possible sources of bias. 1. The speaker or writer is relying on incomplete information. 2. The speaker or writer is trying to deceive the listener or reader. 3. The speaker or writer wants to believe what he or she is saying. 4. The speaker or writer's past experience is influencing his or her thinking. 5. The speaker or writer is trying to persuade the listener or reader. This time, let's discuss recognizing bias. Look for loaded words. Words that are filled with emotion, might be positive or negative, can reveal an author's opinion about his or her topic. Next, watch out for stereotypes. This happens when the author labels an entire group, the writing is probably biased. Notice vague language or generalization. 
When the author isn't using a specific language or words, this could indicate a bias. Look for one-sided arguments. When the author presents only one side of an argument, his or her writing is probably a biased. How to find author's bias? Look for this sign. First, emotional appeal. The author uses words that produce strong feelings such as pity or fear. Number two, appeals to authority. It refers to people who are experts on a subject. Three, loaded languages. Uses words with strongly positive or strongly negative meaning. When reading information, think about what possible bias might contour the facts. 1. Almost totally unbiased, highly objective and accurate. 2. Mostly unbiased, fairly reliable. 3. Somewhat biased, its accuracy is questionable. 4. Fairly biased, probably unreliable. And 5. Totally biased, highly subjective and inaccurate. Before moving on to our activity, let's reflect about what you have learned in our discussion. Let's not forget that bias means that information comes from a particular viewpoint in favor of or against an idea or thing, usually in a way that is closed-minded, prejudicial, or unfair. To be truly biased means to lack a neutral viewpoint on a particular topic. Before we end our discussion, let's answer this activity. Read the following question and write the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. All the following indicators point to bias in a written work except Number 2. An author writing about Mustang convertibles uses words such as performance, speed, fuels, wind, luxury. What can you infer about the author's bias? Number 3. What does it mean to show bias? Number 4. These are words or phrases that are used to inspire emotion or influence an audience by using an appeal to emotions. Number 5. Is it true or false? Everybody is biased. Thank you for joining today's class. See you next meeting. Bye! If you haven't been subscribed to this channel, click subscribe and hit the notification bell button to get updated for more video lessons. Till next time!